Pediatric Tracheostomy Some children have serious difficulties breathing and or swallowing. This can be due to a number of reasons, such as a narrow airway, paralysed vocal cords or a congenital syndrome. In the case of such situations, a surgical procedure called a tracheostomy can be performed. A tracheostomy is usually performed under general anaesthesia, which means that the child is asleep during surgery. First, a ventilation tube is inserted so that the child can be supported to breathe during the surgery. Then, a small incision is made in the skin of the neck so that the trachea, which is another word for windpipe, is exposed. An incision is made in the trachea below the level of the vocal cords, usually at the second and third tracheal rings. A stitch is placed at either side of the incision. These stitches are called stay sutures, and they help keep the surgically created hole open. This surgically created opening in the trachea is also called a tracheostomy. In some cases, the surgeon can choose to stitch the tracheostomy wall to the skin to help stabilize it. After this, the ventilation tube is retracted and another smaller tube called a tracheal cannula is placed through the tracheostomy. Now the child can breathe through the tracheal cannula and the ventilation tube can be completely removed. Then the stay sutures around the tracheal cannula are secured with tape. These sutures will be removed later. Finally, a neck strap is attached to hold the tracheal cannula in place. After surgery, the child is kept on the ward where their parents are taught how to take care of the tracheal cannula at home. Please contact your own clinical team for the local protocol.